check that out. Yep, I am using the Ray-Bans. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Flying Ride here. So on this video, I'm gonna unbox these glasses that you see right here. These are already unboxed. I'm gonna give you a review and first impressions of what I think about these glasses for your moto vlogging needs. And then I'm also gonna take you out on a ride so you can see them, hear what it sounds like using the mic. Uh, I've got the drone with me. I'm gonna take you to an awesome spot here nearby where we can test these glasses. I'm gonna launch the drone. You're gonna see a really, really cool and closed uh, bridge. And I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts on whether I think these are going to be a great addition to anyone's moto vlogging needs. If you're new to the channel, I'm Flying Ride. On this channel, I focus on motor vlogs, ride videos, ride reviews, all of my 2020 Street Glide CVO that you typically see in my videos you're gonna see here pretty shortly. Uh, and also my 2022 BMW R1250GS that I just added to the channel. I feature cinematic drone footage flying my DJI Mavic 2 drone. Uh, I do product upgrades, product reviews like this one, uh, group rides, epic destination rides, uh, different bikes, testing different bikes. Again, all things here on the FNR channel. So do me a favor. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell notification so you can be reminded of future content like this one. All right, I'm gonna unbox this here right now. I'm gonna show you what's inside the box. I'm gonna walk through how easy it is to set this up. Uh, and then for the rest of the video, we're gonna jump on the bike. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you different views. I'm gonna give you different examples of the mic. Uh, and then we're gonna um, uh, show you some awesome, awesome footage of this uh, cool enclosed bridge that I found. Uh, I've got an awesome, awesome uh, view of the train, the sounds. Again, you're gonna love it, so you're gonna wanna stick around uh, on this video. Uh, and then I'll come back here and wrap it up and then give you my overall thoughts on whether I think you should pay the approximately 300 bucks at this cost to include this as yet another option for you to film for your motor vlogging needs. Let's start the unboxing now. All right, so for starters, I'm actually using uh, the set that you just saw on top of this box here. This is actually for my daughter, and that's why it says round, because they're not the square shape, which are typically for men, although you can wear these back and forth. Uh, so I'm gonna unbox these, because she's gonna use these, and I'm actually using the ones that you just saw here to start the filming here. So uh, let's uh, start opening this up here. Undo this right here. Nice. Nice box. Whoa, yeah, look at that. Nice casing. So this is not only the case for the glasses, but it's also the charger for the glasses. The cool thing about this is once you plug it in, once you plug it in, it charges the actual case and uh, it keeps it charged, so that way you can charge the glasses without having to be plugged in. I haven't tested how long this uh, lasts before having to plug it in, but I would assume uh, it's gonna last uh, a while. So this, uh, these are the glasses. Again, these are the round ones that you see right here. Put them back here. And then I'm gonna switch to the iPhone uh, for the rest of this so I can show you on these glasses what it looks like and all the different functions. All right, so this is what the glasses look like when you're looking at them. And uh, one of the first things you're gonna notice is, you see that right here? That's the actual camera. I'm gonna show you what it looks like once you start recording. Uh, so that way uh, it gives, uh, obviously, people walking around looking at you, they're gonna see this light on, means you're recording a video. Uh, so just be aware of that. Uh, again, you know, for what I'm using them, it's no different than me using my GoPro or whatnot, but just uh, something for you uh, to be aware of. Uh, so this is what it looks like. All right, so you see it? I mean, you see that um, LED there just uh, turned on? So it's actually recording me now from there, right? So you got a camera here and you got a camera there, and then that light turns on while the video is recording. Uh, now, um, there is some limitation to these glasses, the main one being that it only allows you to record videos for 30 seconds or 60 seconds. As a matter of fact, the 60 seconds was in a recent upgrade. I'm not sure if they're gonna increase 
the amount of time that it allows you to record. So you wanna think about that because that is pretty limiting. And if you wanna record a you know complete motovlog like I typically do, then obviously this is not the tool for you. Now, what I do think these are really useful for is if I wanted to do an intro video or if I wanted to show you a quick capture while I'm out riding uh, wearing the sunglasses, all I gotta do is hit that button like I just did right there or I can just say, hey, Facebook, record. Uh, and instantly, the glasses would start recording. And it's really cool because you don't have to touch any buttons. You just speak to it. You could take a picture or you can record a video. The video quality, by the way, is um, okay. Um, I believe it's 1080. Um, I've got to check and see if it is. If not, it's just under 1080. Uh, I'm not sure it quite makes it to 1080. And I also need to check the megapixels for the camera. Uh, again, you're not getting this for a you know high-end camera. You're getting this for the functionality and the ability to just quickly just snap literally a story, i.e. whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on Instagram. You could even do some of that now uh, in the short clips on YouTube. That's where I think these really ultimately uh, become pretty practical. Now, I'll say this. They are great sunglasses in and of itself. Uh, they work great, they got different lenses. By the way, they have different uh, options. This is a brown, they have black, they have blue, and then they also have the round lenses that I just, that I just showed you here that now my daughter is ultimately gonna use. Uh, the other uh, thing that uh, is really cool about the glasses is um, it, has to, it actually has integrated speakers in here. So if you wanna use these for just walking and uh, you know if you're out for a walk and you wanna just capture something, um, you can listen to your music as you're walking right on the glasses, which I thought was a pretty cool function. Uh, you don't have to worry about earphones. You don't have to worry about carrying anything. It, it basically allows you to play any music on your iPhone directly onto the glasses. I think the other cool thing is that it has its own internal storage, so it does store the videos in there. Uh, and then once you connect it to your phone, which is the other thing I'll talk about here quickly, to set it up, basically you put it in discovery mode, which is... You know, you turn the power button on, which is that button right there. And um, once you turn it on, you, you press and hold it. So it goes into Bluetooth mode. Once it goes into Bluetooth mode, you download it to app. Um, it finds the glasses, it syncs the glasses, it updates the software, and that's it. Once you record, uh, once you open up the app, it shows all the videos there. You click on them, it downloads them. Uh, and then you could either view them or, there, or you could store them on your phone and then you could start to share them uh, in all of your social media platforms. It is that simple. I'm not gonna show you that all this, those instructions here as part of this video, because uh, again, you could look that up online and it is, again, relatively simple. It just, it hooks up like just like any other Bluetooth device once you ultimately get it. Um, and then the, the last thing that I'll share with you is when you're, when the glasses are on, right? and you hit the record button. I wanna show you what it looks like on this side. I showed you before what it looked like on the other side. So this is the button that I was talking about. So you could either tell it to record via a voice command or you could just press the button here, which I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside. All right, so right now it's recording. Can you see that little LED right there? Okay, that's on in white. So especially when you have the glasses on, you can see that you're actually recording footage. And right now it's actually recording wherever I point the glasses, right? And then I have it set for 60 seconds. So that is going that light is gonna stay on for 60 seconds. When it's approaching the 60 seconds, I'm actually gonna leave it here. Uh, you can see it's gonna start to, it's gonna start to flash. So you see it starts to flash. That means the 60 seconds is about to end. So it signals you that you're about to uh, end your video and that's how you know you've actually recorded the 60 second video and then after that you either you know speak to it or you press it again and it starts to record another video so uh, so in terms of you know sort of setting it up and i think just the basic functions that's what i wanted to cover with you not a real in-depth obviously there's a thousand videos on this if you really wanted to go in depth uh, go check those videos out if you have any questions uh, if you want to ask me, hey, you know, other functionalities that I've used before, I've had these now for a week, leave it down in the comments below. We'll answer. I answer all of the comments. I respond to all of the comments. I'll answer all of the questions. So just let me know down in the comments below, uh, you know, what questions you have about these. Uh, and I'd be glad to, uh, to either respond directly or point you in the right direction. All right. So let's get on the bike right now. And I'm going to give you the first test, which is a nice startup 
riding sandstorm using these Ray-Ban stories. Let's go there now. All right, so this is the first test uh, that I want to do. I'm going to do a cold start here with you. I actually have the GoPro on and I have the uh, Ray-Ban uh, sunglasses on. And uh, this is the view that you see with the sunglasses. This sound that you're hearing right now is uh, is being captured from the mic on the glasses. And then I'll go back and forth because um, uh, I have tested them before. And once you start writing, uh, it does capture the wind a lot. So you're always going to want to have if you want to use these for if you want to use this for motor vlogs, uh, which I will from time to time for some quick sort of uh, 60 seconds or 30 second uh, recordings. As I talked about uh, just a second ago, this gives you the option to record both in 30 seconds and 60 seconds. Uh, you can just uh, put the glasses on, go for a quick ride, record. Uh, if you want to have a backup mic, you can do that and then just uh, sync up the audios and then you have uh, yet another option uh, to expand your, uh, uh, your motor vlogs. Check that out. Yep, I am using the Ray-Bans. Again, just gives you a different perspective. You don't have to worry about cameras. I do have the GoPro on, but check this out. Train passes right through there. This train actually goes to uh, Penn Station, New York City. There you have it. So again, let me know down in the comments what you think about this uh, Ray-Ban, but I like having different options, giving all of you different views. But let me know down in the comments below what you think. So such an awesome, awesome, cool looking bridge. Then I'm gonna launch the drone and show you what it looks like from the top. Check it out. Hopefully you enjoyed that footage. I uh, found this nice little gem here while I was uh, testing out these uh, sunglasses and I added it as a special feature for all of you. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Do me a favor, if you like this video and you like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and hit that bell notification so you can remind it of future content like this one. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed uh, me testing out these Ray-Ban stories um, as an additional tool for your motor vlogging needs. And uh, again, hopefully you enjoyed uh, all of the different uh, angles, uh, you know, riding sandstorm, that awesome looking uh, uh, closed bridge, uh, and then that awesome drone footage from the top of that bridge, and then that, pr that, that train coming right as I was there was uh, really perfect timing. So 
Uh, do me a favor. If you like this video, if you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. Uh, so let me wrap this up here and tell you my overall thoughts and whether I think it's worth paying the, the $300 if you're going to use this as an additional tool. As always, this is merely my opinion. Of course, research this on your own uh, before you choose uh, you know, to spend the money on this uh, for whatever functionality you want to use. Uh, in the context of this video, I was talking about this as a mode of logging tool. And do I think it's a good mode of logging tool? The answer is no. However, um, it's a no with some exceptions. As an example, um, where I think these shine are in very low speed conditions, or if you're using to just start up or do videos like this, where there's minimal wind noise that will get in the way of the mic. I think for that kind of functionality, it's awesome. I think the second thing that these are awesome for is, look, if you don't even wanna think about it, you just have these on and you wanna record something, literally you just tell it to record or you press the button and it starts to capture. And assuming there's no high wind or you're not going at high speed, as you can tell from the video, it does a pretty decent job with the mic, that it, with the internal mic that it has and capturing some really good sound. Uh, and then of course, uh, you know, third, um, it's always good to have multiple options uh, for mode of logging needs. Uh, of course, you know, I have all of the GoPros. I've got the 360s. I've got the drone. I've got a DSLR, right? So I um, don't mind, you know, having this as yet an additional tool. However, do I think it's worth $300 for mode of logging? No, I don't. So I wanted to share that with you. That's, of course, my humble opinion. I actually purchased them and, you know, now my daughter has a second pair. So I will find value. I'm using it obviously for a video here and I will incorporate it in some of my future videos. You're gonna see it, um, me cutting in, in and out and using these sunglasses um, as I'm bringing you some content or creating content for you to ultimately enjoy. All right, so uh, look, hopefully you found that helpful. That's my opinion, that's my review. Those are my first impressions. Uh, hopefully you can use this as one of the many um, things that you will use to research. Uh, before you make a decision to actually get this either for motor vlogging or if you want to use it for walking for jogging or just cool glasses or the cool factor you know these certainly um, are a conversation topic uh, when people realize that this is actually not only sunglasses but cameras there all right thanks so much do me a favor if you like this content like this video hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that bell notification so you can be reminded of future content it is absolutely hot and I am jumping right in there. Thanks for watching.